Good morning. Welcome to Ask Coffee Online. My name is Chef Caesar. Today I'm going to be making some zucchini fritters. Fritter is a name given to any type of food, uh, fry food that's made with a batter or some breadcrumbs combination. And usually you have meat, seafood, vegetables, or uh, fruit filling. And today I'm going to be making a uh, shrimp and, uh, and zucchini fritters. We're going to start with some uh, nice zucchinis. I'm going to use about two zucchinis. I mean, zucchinis are very, you know, abundant pretty much year round, especially in the summertime. You can find them in your local farmer's market or you just go to the store. And I mean, zucchinis by themselves really don't have a lot of flavor. They have a lot of water like any other vegetable, actually a little more. So we want to start by shredding the zucchinis. And I'm using my box grater. If you're going to do a lot, if you got a food processor, you can use uh, grater attachments and then do it that way. It's much quicker. But today I'm just going to use my, my grater here. And I'm going to like using a few ingredients. You're going to see how easy this is. And... Uh, we're gonna have to, you know, put this, uh, once they're grated, leave them to, in the side in the bowl so some of the water drains out. We're gonna sprinkle some salt that's gonna, you know, speed up the process. As we know, salt attracts water, so we're gonna, you know, sprinkle some salt, put it aside. And in the meantime, we're gonna be chopping the rest of the ingredients that are gonna go into our fritters. Okay, just taking the shrimp in the cooler on the top shelf. See, this takes a little more time, but since I'm only going to do two, I don't want to take out my fruit processor and make a mess. This is going to be much quicker, okay, as you can see. And if you don't like seafood, you can leave the shrimp out. You can just make it vegetarian. I'm also going to be making a nice dipping sauce to go along with them. And uh, just by adding some other ingredients, you can, you know, even if you don't like zucchinis, you might be able to try this. They're going to be nice and crispy, but still you're going to be able to taste the nice soft texture this zucchini have. You can also use, you know, yellow squash if you want. Oh, they cut up. A little bowl cut up. So this is something that is very simple to do. I'm, I'm sure you guys probably seen like apple fritters, you know, it's pretty much the same process. But you can also make them savory as well. If you guys have any questions along the way, please let me know. Okay. You can see we're almost done here. All right, there we go. I'll put this out of the way here. Now I'm going to put all this uh, grated zucchinis in the bowl. Now I'm going to sprinkle some uh, coarse salt to like draw some of the water out. Okay. Okay, about one uh, half teaspoon of salt. This way we're going to... Okay. Let's mix it up really good. And we're going to set it aside for about 10 minutes. And I already went ahead and uh, did some before, so that way we don't have to wait that long. And uh, now I'm going to show you all the liquid that, you know, it's in this bowl. Put it in a colander. We're going to apply some pressure to draw the water out of there. Otherwise, if you don't take the water out, the batter is going to be too runny. You can just, you know, your hands, squeeze this out. As you can see this. Try to squeeze as much as you can. See? As I said before, vegetables contain a lot of water. Even though we're going to add some eggs and flour, but if you get the batter to on it, it's going to spread out too much when it comes time to pan fry or fritters. So, there you go. Look at this. And also, you know, you want to, when you make this uh, mix, you kind of want to use the whole thing up, because otherwise, if you put it in the refrigerator, you can, but next morning, you're going to see even more liquid, and uh, it's going to be really runny. If that happens, if you want to do that, you can still use it. Just drain some of the water. If you might add a little more flour to make the batter a little more uh, thick, 
And you can still use it, but you know, it's better to use the whole thing up all at once. Okay, now we got our liquid out of there. And I'm gonna put it back in my bowl because I gotta add the rest of the ingredients here. I'm gonna put it to the side. Now I'm gonna chop a couple of green onions. Green onions here. If you want to add some color, you can also chop some, you know, red bell peppers. It's going to give a really nice flavor as well. Try to cut them as thin as you can, but be careful you know, with your fingers. And this makes a great appetizer. Actually, I'm going I'm to be making two dipping sauces. I'm going to make one nice and uh, cool, refreshing, and I'm going to add some spice to the second one, some chipotle peppers, which are, you know, nothing else but uh, dry, small jalapenos. It's got a nice, nice smoky taste to them. Now I'm going to, you know, add some eggs. I got Crack my eggs over here. A couple eggs. That's enough. Okay. Okay. You want to break them in the bowl because in case you, you know, shells fall in there, you want to end it up in your fritters. It's going to be crunchy, but you don't want to be eating shells. Okay, so I'm going to eggs in here. I'm going to add some salt and pepper. Okay. I got some uh, Parmesan cheese, about a quarter of a cup. You guys are going to get the recipe as well with the video. Now I'm, I got my flour. I'm going to mix some uh, baking powder too. This is going to help, you know, the fritters to rise when we fry them. I'm going to add the rest of my ingredients here. I also got some chopped shrimp here. Again, if you guys don't like seafood, you don't have to add any shrimp. I just want to add a little more protein. I got about eight, you know, medium-sized shrimp in here. Look at that. And the shrimp are raw because, you know, they cook really quick, so you don't want to put cooked shrimp and you know cook them twice. You, you don't want to do that. Okay, now we're going to add some of this flour mixture here. You know, add a little bit at a time and kind of keep mixing at the same time so you don't get like you know lumps in there. And keep it now. You might not need all the flour in the recipe because if you drain, you know, a lot of the liquid from the zucchini, you might not need to put all the flour in there. Otherwise, it's going to be too thick of a paste. Okay. I think this is going to be good enough. Here you go. Look at this nice texture. A little bit more. There you go. Now we're almost ready to start frying this, but before we do that, I'm going to show you guys how to make the dipping sauces for this. So I'm going to put this aside here. Make sure you mix this very well. You don't want to have uh, any lumps from the flour, because when you, you know, cook it, this flour is now going to break up, so you want to make sure the flour is well incorporated in there. Okay, now we're ready. I'm going to put it to the side here, and I'm going to make a really easy dipping sauce. Okay, I got some sour cream here. You guys can also use uh, plain Greek yogurt. I got about a, about a cup of sour cream, a little more uh, over a cup. Sour cream. Okay. I got one clove of uh, fresh chopped garlic. I'm also going to add a little uh, lime zest here, about a quarter teaspoon here. You can just use your grater and put it right in there. This is going to be nice and refreshing. Okay. 
Okay. About half a lime. Now I'm going to cut this and add some of the juice in there too. Okay. Squeeze that. I'm going to add some white pepper. Since it's, uh, it's going to be a white sauce, you want to add some white pepper. You don't want to use black. It's going to have little, you know, specks in there. and You don't want that. Okay. A little salt in there. Okay. Now I'm going to use my little stick blender to blend everything together. If you want, you can make the sauce, you know, ahead of time, that way the flavors have time to marry together and have a nicer, you know, flavor then. Okay, I'm going to taste to see if it's got enough salt. That's good. Okay. And I'm going to take some, some uh, sauce out of here because I want to add a little more, a little spice to this. So I'm going to take half of this out. So I'm making, you know, two sauces with the same base pretty much. Okay, there we go. And I got some uh, chipotle pepper salsa here. Like I said before, these are some uh, dry smoked jalapeno peppers and then a tofu sauce, which is made with some tomatoes, vinegar, spices. And it's a little spicy, so this is going to give a nice... Uh, Nice taste, a little kick to it. Okay, there we go. Okay, now I'm gonna finish blending this a little, just a little more. If you want it hotter, you can also add more, but you know, one little tablespoon is more than enough. If you buy the whole, the peppers whole, one pepper is more enough. Sometimes they come whole too. You could buy them whole, you know, they're not puree. So you can just uh, get, put one pepper in there, a little bit of the sauce, and that could be, you know, good enough. Now we're going to put this to the side. We're going to start, you know, frying the fritters. We have a question over here. A bake them? You might be able to bake them, but it might take a little longer to bake because uh, the batter is kind of runny. But if you want to go, you know, the healthy way, you can, you know, just rub some oil and a uh, sheet pan, and you can bake them too, so. But normally they're, they're fry. So I'm gonna. I got some canola oil, you guys can use, you know, vegetable oil, corn oil, or even olive oil if you like. So we're gonna add just enough oil to cover the bottom of the pan, because we're just, you know, pan frying this, otherwise we'll be deep frying. Okay. As you can see, the batter is nice and firm. If it gets too too runny, like I say, you can always add a little more flour to it. So this is. Okay, now we have our oil going here. I got a plate with some uh, lined with some paper towels. So I'm gonna put them here once they're cooked, so they absorb some of that oil from the fritters. So, and I got a non-stick pan. You don't have to get a non-stick pan. A regular pan will work fine. They won't stick to the bottom. But uh, this is something simple, you know. Some of us, I me mean myself, I don't really, you know, zucchinis. They're, they're nice when you like bread them or fry them, but by themselves, really. They don't have a lot of flavor, but you can, you know, add, make a little more ingredients to it and make them really tasty. So this is something, you know, nice, little nice appetizer. And some of you might, you know, grow zucchinis in the summertime. And if you don't know what to do with them, this is something you can do. And once they're cooked, you can, you know, put them in the refrigerator, cool them off, and you can, you know, reheat them and use them later on. But they're better when they're, like, fresh because they're nice and crispy. But if you want to save them and use them, like, reheat them the next day, you're, you're able to as well. I'm gonna wait for our oil to oil to heat up over here a little bit more. 
once it starts to swirl, it means it's ready. And you don't want to keep the flame too hot, be careful. Okay, now we're going to put a little spoonful. In there, kind of press them down a little bit like a little pancake. Okay, you see that? And they don't have to be perfectly round. I mean, that's okay. They might be a little. If you want to make them round, you can also use just put uh, one of those uh, round cutters and uh, as a mold, so you can you know mold, mold it in there. Put the round cutter inside, but it's gonna be hard. It's gonna get really hot, so. This is okay. okay. Look at that. Right. Keep an eye on the flame. You don't want to get it too hot, otherwise they're going to brown too quick. And they're going to cook really quick. So if you can see this. They smell really nice. See? Be careful when you flip them over. You might, you know, splash them oil. Be really extra careful when, you know, working with oil at home. Make sure when you do this, you don't walk away because this thing can really, you know, catch a fire. Once it gets to the smoking point, the next thing is going to be a ball of fire. So, you know, be very careful. As you can see, they're real nice. Nice and golden brown. Beautiful. It really depends how thick you make them. If you make them kind of thin like this, they don't take uh, too long to cook. You know, you just want to kind of press them down. That way, they don't take too long to to fry. Look at that. This one's going to be done real quick here. so I can drain some of the oil right in the paper towels. Okay. See how nice it popped up? This from the egg and the baking powder that we add to them. Okay. All right. well, turn the fire off here. Now when I cook them all, I'm just gonna do those three to you know plate my dish. Now they're they're ready. You can either keep them warm if you're gonna you know cook the whole batch. You know put them in the oven, keep the oven you know, about two two hundred degrees, and you can keep them there until you're gonna use them, or you can you know use them right away, whatever you prefer. Now we're gonna you know serve our fritters here. I'm gonna put some of the sauce. I got actually two sauces here. No. It's nice and refreshing here. Then when I add this one, it's a little spices. You're going to have two, you know, different flavors. Okay. Okay, now we're going to just put our fritters right here. Just like that. And you got yourself a nice, tasty appetizer here. I'm also going to you know, put a little chopped tomatoes for color in there. Okay. And we're all 
built on here. There you go. If you guys uh, have any questions. Here you go. A nice little fritter that was really quick and easy to make with the very few ingredients. So, you know, cooking is something very simple. You just have to really enjoy what you do and just have fun in the kitchen. That's the whole idea behind it. It doesn't have to be very complicated for you, complex. Just kind of have your mise en place ready to go. Like you see here, everything is ready, you know, you know, hands rich. So once you get all the stuff, you know, ready to go, you know, the preparation process is very simple. You know, what takes uh, longer is to have all your ingredients, you know, ready to go, prepare, to put it together it was, you know, very quick as you can see. So I, I always, you know, keep stressing you guys when you do your assignments. Make sure you have everything in your missing plot set up. That way when it comes to put your, uh, your dish together, it's, it's very simple. Just follow the recipe and, you know, it's really nice to, one thing that I do too, keep your ingredients in order. Kind of put the ones that are going to go in first and then kind of go along the line and set them up that way. That way you won't forget anything. You know that everything is set up in order. It's one thing that you can use to, you know, to make things easier in the kitchen. Well, I want to thank you for being here this morning. I'll see you next week again. Thank you. Have a nice day.